Hey guys, what's up? It's Solo, and today we are going to be reacting to Destiny 2 Revenant's launch trailer. Uh, we always get these every, like, day or week before something launches. We get the trailers for it. Hopefully, we're going to get some more context into the story. We know that the story for Revenant is going to be about Fickrel getting the Echo, I believe. Uh, the Echo, I don't think it is named i think the echo of command that i was thinking of was the one that uh maya had so um yeah we don't know what echo we're dealing with and the interesting thing is like last time we saw thick roll thick roll was in like some sort of loop and then we saw him again i think in one of the seasons and then we haven't seen him since and the only like premonition we got about that was when the episodes were revealed and we saw Thickroll again. And then of course the log from the final shape from Crow going out on his own missions looking for Thickroll. Um But yeah, hopefully and I'm hoping uh, we're going to have a good one with this. I really do like seasons that are like this that are kind of like dark and gloomy. And just like scrolling through here, it looks like it's gloomy. So... Give me one second and we'll get started with this. All right, let's get started. Hmm. Bring a gift. Reborn through extinction. Risen. I scorn. Risen is scorn. I know. What the? Or no, that. What the fuck? Uh, hold up. Did he just turn... Like regular, just a lick knee that we're just standing there into scorn. Yeah, he did. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, okay. What the fuck? Okay, so one thing I'm already seeing is we are getting a, like, redesign of, like, what these Scorn look like. Because they don't look the same as our, like, normal Scorn. But let's continue. Let's go, I fucking, this duo right here, like, when they first got introduced, there was a lot of people who was, like, sleeping on this, they're like, eh, it's not that great, and then, like, we got into it, this duo of Ido and Misrax is so good, like, absolutely love both characters, Ido and Misrax are just so great, I love that he's getting, like, this whole splicer treatment, too, with this. Is this a dungeon armor? Because I'm pretty sure this set is going to be like our main set for the episode. Or this might, or it might be the like extra armor. The dead. But, well, whoa, that's cool. Okay. Baron. I need. Wait, we're gonna be calling- we're becoming barons? Okay, so... I think this might be the ornament for it, because it looks like it's taking more inspiration off the, like, weapons and stuff. So this probably might be the ornaments. We'll probably get a tease of the actual, like, dungeon in this trailer, too. Just because it is coming. If you slay a baron. That's cool. Yeah, those are definitely ornaments.
Jesus Christ. Okay. So yeah, I want to go through and talk about different bits of this. So, uh, so firstly, we're gonna see, of course, him getting the echo here, right? That's what he's leading with. Uh, he's also like massive. He's been massive since like we first met him. Uh, he, I definitely like the new design for him, like the whole like red eye, like all chained up because you gotta remember this guy like was in an infinite loop and then he came out and like finally got to do shit and but most of the time he was like caged the fact that he can do this shit is nuts and just like the whole vibe of this is really cool like the egregore that's taking over widow's court is awesome as well Makes me wonder where these are taking place. Also, we're seeing kind of a redesign for a lot of the scorn in this episode because that's that's not a regular looking screeb. Um, these are, I believe, the totems that summon these guys, which are the like revenants that you have to fight. And of course, we had the elixir or tonics. Again, I can't say this enough. This duo right here is probably going to be my favorite part of the season. I absolutely love this duo. And like they said, we should be getting all of the story beats for like Act 1 with it dropping tomorrow. So we didn't get anything about the dungeon, which I think is interesting. Maybe they're just trying to keep it as a surprise. Uh, so yeah, these sets and... Um, hold up. Let's see if I can get a close look. Uh, so those sets and then this set are going to be two different sets. Um, this is These sets that you see here on this screen is probably going to be our like default armor. Uh, which, honestly, I love how this looks, just because it does make you look like a kind of, like, v hunter, but also you're, like, very much reminiscent of a, like, uh, Baron, right, from, like, Forsaken. And you're getting, like, the eyes, like, if you are a Elixney. And then these, I'm guessing, are going to be our universal ornaments, which honestly, I like how the Titans looks. Uh, I'm not sure about the Hunter and Warlock. Again, I don't play either of those at this point. But like just a close up on like the Titan here. Um, I'm really digging this helmet. Uh, I, I just like how it looks like. Yeah, some like this stuff looks sick. Um this is what I'm very much interested in. Like this is like more like gothic themed. I'm wondering where we're at here. If this is like the story or if this is like maybe the dungeon. The cool thing of us getting like being told that we're slayer barons is pretty cool. Um again, more of the like titan outfit there uh we're getting a look at onslaught as well a new grenade launcher um looks like which looks pretty sick i wanna i wanna see something here because either this is like a new exotic here this or this is um like an ability it looks like a new exotic but i'm not sure on that um yeah, some of this looks cool, definitely. I like this. I know there was some discourse that this weapon isn't red, and I'm guessing we're going to get a skin that's going to give it, like, the red. But honestly, I'm fine with it not being red. Like, there's a lot of red. Not every single aspect of this needs to be red. But I think this is probably going to be one of the better episodes if I had to take my guess right now based on what we've seen. Because, like, very much when it comes to, like, spooky seasons. Because, like, I know people are, like, indifferent on Season of the Haunted. But I absolutely enjoyed Season of the Haunted. 
I thought it had a really good narrative to it. But as this is going, I think from what I've seen here, I'm probably going to enjoy this episode. Just because of just how it looks, especially Act 1 already looks like it's brooding something bigger. Because it's weird that, like, also, this Titan outfit, like, that, that shit goes hard. That shit absolutely goes hard. Like, the fact that we're getting another hat is sick. Um, but yeah, no, I... It looks pretty cool. Um, again, we'll have to wait and see what we actually get. Um, and see how it looks and how it feels and how the reward system feels. Again, you guys already know my thoughts about the whole craft of weapon app and stuff. But yeah, overall, it looks pretty cool. I know some people aren't a fan of this, like, chitin or chitin, sorry like look but honestly i think it looks pretty cool just for the fact that like it's very much like giving like scorn barren type vibes to it which i figured this season would be all about anyway so yeah let me know your guys's thoughts down in the comments below and guys don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. And I'll see you guys in the next one as we see a Titan absolutely obliterate people. But I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.